Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Video Game Fight School. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now, this video is pretty much a video that shows what the community is thinking. Um, and a week ago, I took a poll asking who will be the main villain of Warner Brothers Montreal's new Batman game. A lot of people replied. I got about 130 votes in. So, you know, pretty much about close to 10% of uh, people who watch and who are the audience, which is usually the case in some cases. And one of the interesting things was, you know, 83% of people pick Court of Owls, Talon or the Court of Owls or however that representation is. And I think this is based on, you know, the leaks and based on a lot of the things that we've been talking about in the community as to who will be the bad guy, who will be the good guy, all that stuff. But also take note as well, take note that this is, you know, based on a lot of those leaks initially that and people have, you know, received this perception, right? But now that we've known that it's a reboot, I think something is also telling here with the percentage because 8% of people chose the Joker. And then you now have Ra's al Ghul of the League of Shadows and then people say Black Mask and Mr. Freeze at 2% margin. Now, what does this kind of look like? Well, if it's a reboot, then everything is now on the table. Nothing is off the cuff. You can pretty much, you know, go any direction you want because like I made in my other video talking about this reboot, I actually tagged it as creative freedom more than anything. I, I told you guys that I felt like Warner Brothers Montreal was going to be getting a better and a clean slate to actually start from. And this is definitely where they need to be. If you go to that direction and say, hey, what is this story going to look like? You can buy yourself piece anywhere together because you now have a fresh timeline. Many people might be stuck in the Arkham games or whatever, but this new Warner Brothers Montreal Batman game is probably not going to be like, you know, uh, a game that wants to really mimic any of the Arkham series because the reports have said this is developing a new shared universe. So you probably need to have a story that will have this continuity that's going to be organic. If you remember, Arkham Knight had all these clues for a Superman game and eventually that, you know, got, I don't know what happened to that. There were Lex Towers everywhere. There were all kinds of things alluding to the, the guy in Metropolis. If you listen to the bad guys talking on the streets, they, the goons, they talk about, well, I mean, this is not, you know, we're happy. It's nice that, you know, all we have to deal with is Batman. Good thing it's not that freak from Metropolis. There were even, you know, audio, verbal, written, you know, structural clues about a Superman game. And we didn't hear anything and we haven't heard anything. In fact, what we're left with are these rumors and these crumbs. And so I think that if they if, if the Arkham game starts off and kicks off this universe, the universe will have to fit in with other stories that are going to be coming in. Because I think what DC is probably trying to do is to tap into this area of its video games, which, in my opinion, have been even, uh, you know, relatively uh in a sense, popular. I wouldn't say they've been successful. I don't know what they measure and what their standards are, but they've been relatively popular. And it's this popularity that I feel like is going to help them win. So if you develop a Batman game now, that game has to have a villain that can allow for the continuity of maybe another uh, hero within the Bat family, the Bat League, the Justice League, to be able to come in organically. So maybe you wanted to make a Green Arrow game on the back end. Well, we all know that Green Arrow and, you know, Oliver Quinn and Bruce Wayne are very very good friends. And so you want Oliver Quinn to maybe walk into that story as organic as you possibly can have it. And this would definitely set the tone for perhaps maybe another hero or another villain or an anti-hero or super villain to come into the whole story as an entire package. Or maybe they, you know, they can be down the road in other games or as close as DLC. So I think this is a really cool development that the, you know, the community is actually looking at and saying, this is who we think and this is what we think is going to be in the game and with the whole information that we're getting with the talk and whispers of a superman game i don't see this as an impossible or you know uh reality i think a new villain a new uh you know storyline a new universe in a sense not a new let's just say alternate timeline is what will make this entirety of the dc games actually come to light because currently sony is doing a lot of work to get their second spider-man game off the ground and i think they're very very aware of how 
uh, you know, possible, that's going to be another major hit uh, for the PS5. So the work that's going on with it is no small work. And I think DC also wants to come to the table with some serious Batman, some serious DC characters being represented in video games, not just relegated to fighting games like the Injustice games have had them, but actually being in the whole storyline uh, for us to exhibit these superheroes. And, you know, the beauty of the the DC universe is a lot of its characters, they will excel well in the video game scene. They'll do very well in, you know, the simulated gameplay. They just need to open up those wallets and invest heavily in developing a community around these games. And they need to do that by, you know, dropping this Batman game and expanding the world so that the other characters can start to be a reality uh, in terms of planting the seeds and then eventually opening up those avenues for them. Anyway, that's just pretty much my little take on my little analysis i want to hear what you think in the comment section um you know leave comments don't tell me who you think will be the bad guy or who you think should be the bad guy because there are a lot of uh, you know unexplored or untapped uh you know villains super villains uh, you know anti-heroes that are in the batman universe especially in the video game universe that have not been touched even in the you know the graphic uh, novel universe the, the written universe and the cinematic or animated universes which characters you think will actually do very well or can intersect and permeate multiple, uh, you know, storylines? Okay, I guess that's it for me. I'll get out of your hair. Thank you for your time and audience, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.